everyone, it's Magi Simona, and I'm at work! Bees. So, I am a research assistant at the university that I'm at, and we study ecology, and we're studying whether the decline in um, honeybees has affected native pollinators, such as uh, native bees and butterflies and that kind of stuff as well. And so we're setting out traps to catch some bees, and we're going to some really beautiful sites today. And so I just wanted to give you all a little glimpse into that world. So we'll start with the path. This is the Abita bog. So this is the bog, and this is a seepage bog, which means that all the stuff from that hill up there, all the water, We'll come roll down this hill into this valley when there's a lot of rain. This is our trap. I just set it up on a little garden stake and it looks like a flower. And so the common flowers that they have around here are these little button tops. And then there are also over here some pitcher plants very characteristic of a bog and they will trap insects and eat them much like a Venus flytrap. So this is the first seepage bog site that we are at and I think it's really beautiful. Beautiful flowers on the path in. There's a whole patch of them right here. Hey, we're at the second site. We're at the Abita Flatwood Savannah, and I just wanted to show y'all my favorite tree. So, this tree is really gorgeous. And in order to get to the site, we have to go through um, this forest. There's this beautiful arcing tree, see right there? And it just kind of spans most of the forest, and it's just beautiful. So the next thing that we have to pass through, once we reach the site, is this really tall grass. And these grasses are very typical of a savanna. So I'm gonna pass through that. And we're passing through the tall grass to make sure to keep the traps up high so they don't get um, seeds. Oh, and here's a little baby longleaf pine. They stay in this baby phase for a long time and they spring up after like seven years. Um, usually they start out a lot smaller on the ground like a little shrub. If I find one, I'll show y'all. But this one is maybe about 10 years old. And as you can see, it's, it's not about chest height on me. The grass is starting to get a little taller now. And it's surrounding me. All right, so we've made it. We are at the savanna. And as you can see, there are a lot of pitcher plants, just like at the other site. We're here at the private wildfire bog, which is one of only two bogs in Louisiana. Um, and it's owned privately, so it is really gorgeous. Look at that, that tree. All kinds of live oaks around here. And they have horses. It's just really beautiful, and all these plants have just come into bloom. And then there's there's the path that we'll be walking down. Coming around the bend. Hey, wait, come back. This is the bog. And it gets really shrubby. It can be really overgrown, so they kind of cut it back for us. Which is good and bad. It's good for us because it's easier to get to the traps, but it's bad for the environment because you don't want to make a permanent road. 
and we want to try and save as much of this habitat as we can since it's one of the only two bogs left. Oh wow, look at these flowers. All kinds of flowers. There's some reds. Some woods out there. Just get our way down this little path across the bog. And there's one little area right here. You can see the little holes where we actually fell into really deep one time. It, this was all flooded after a lot of rain and um, my professor and I we just kind of like fell in and I had my cell phone with me. I was just like holding it up and I was like no save the cell phone! And so I passed the uh, cell phone to her and then I passed the traps to her one by one. I had like three or four traps and they were really heavy and uh, and so we passed them one by one across and it was just really funny. And she told us a story of one time she got was in Ghana and she actually fell in a really deep hole and it took four guys to pull her out. Ah, see, there's the water. There's usually a lot more water than this. But it's really dry right now because it's the winter. And there's also more pretty little flowers. And a butterfly! I don't know if you can see the butterfly. Oh, and a bee. Wow, crystal faces! Covington Supermarket. Now, Acoustapasis has a pretty huge selection of fresh fruits and veggies, which is included in the free samples. Yum. But it's most famous for its wine selection. So, there are rows and rows and rows and rows and rows of boxes cartons and rows and rows and rows of alcohol here if you're into that kind of thing. And it's a really famous place to go in Louisiana if you're around here. Because, let's see, it's our crimson quartz. Because there are, there's something for every taste here. 